guys, welcome back to my channel, Healthy with Nicole. I wanna show you today a few things that you can do to help improve your lymphatic system. So we are often hearing about doing detox programs and uh, detox this and that, but we never talk about our lymphatic system and this is actually a big part of your cleansing system. So all of our body, we have our natural built-in way that our body cleans itself and that is through our excretory system, the organs that excrete something. So your kidney, your liver, your lungs, your skin, right? So all of these help to clean our body. But the thing that we miss out on is the lymphatic system, which is the fluid part of your blood and your body that is carrying all the toxins and metabolic waste out of your body. And so we have lymphatic ducts that run from head to toe in certain areas of the body. And oftentimes lack of movement will inhibit those from doing their action of cleaning the body. So anything we can do to help the lymphatic system to keep moving is helpful. The worst thing we can do is let the lymphatic fluid sit, become stagnant like a cesspool. So we wanna be able to move it, keep the fluid moving. So staying hydrated, moving your body, uh, walking, swimming, practicing yoga, anything but sitting for long periods of time, which I know many people do. Um, and then there's a couple of the things that you can do to your skin and body that really help to move that lymphatic fluid. One of them is deep breathing. So deep belly breath, big inhales through your belly and exhaling out. Um, we teach that in other areas of how to, how to breathe um, in yoga. We call it pranayama. So that's one way to do it. Another thing simple you can do in your shower, turn the water hot, turn the water cold, hot, cold. That action creates the pump in your body and will help to flush and move lymphatic fluid. Another thing you can do is dry brushing. One of my favorites, I talk about it all the time. It's as easy as taking the little brush like this and making a circular motion from your legs all the way up to your neck, arms all the way up to your chest, and whatever you can reach on the back and that will stimulate the movement of that lymphatic fluid as well. It's an easy one. You can do it every day before your shower. It takes less than five minutes. Another thing is soaking in Epsom salts. Um, you can get a couple pounds of Epsom salts for two or three dollars at any drugstore, and all it takes is one to two cups in your bathtub and soaking in that. So we get magnesium from this because your body will absorb it. Great way to improve your magnesium levels in your body. Also, it will help to calm your muscles and soothe sore muscles. So we get really tight. Many of us are sitting at a computer or driving. We get that slouching. The neck gets tight from stress and the ears are coming uh, close to the shoulders, right? So anything to relax those muscles and magnesium salt baths do a great job of that. Feel free to add essential oils that have other calming and sleep inducing effects. Uh, but overall, that'll be great to help move the lymphatic fluid through your body. And then another great way is cupping. So now we've got some great new companies that sell cups that you can do at home. And you just put it onto your body, press it down to send the air out, and then move it along your body. And I'll warn you, if you're not used to this, it hurts a little bit. Make sure that you've put oil all over your body so that the cups move. In traditional Chinese medicine, you'll see that they leave the cups in place and you'll have these big bruises on your back. Um, we can avoid that by moving and keeping the cups moving as long as your body has oil on it, the cups will move and that increases the movement of the lymphatic fluid as well. So remember the lymphatic fluid is the toxin part of your uh, body that carries all that metabolic waste and other toxins out of your blood and out of your body. So staying hydrated, practicing some of these techniques to keep the lymphatic system moving is your best bet. If you want to find more ways to take care of your body, check out my website, healthywithnicole.com, and you can follow along with the 30 days of self-care as I guide you with my book, Six Steps to Self-Care, and in 30 days, how to change your whole body, your whole health, and step-by-step uh, step with these videos. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see all the other videos that I have here to show you how to do stuff just like this.